Hi, welcome back. I hope your week was powerful and you're really starting to understand who your team is and who you are too during this journey. So today we are talking about feeling safe. We all know that feeling of feeling safe. We open up, we open up our hearts, we talk about things and we just know that we, are don't, we don't feel judged, we don't feel criticized. We just are able to have a safe space and just say what we need to say. So whether it's with your partner, uh, with your children, with your parents, with friends, with colleagues, with, therap with therapists, whoever those people are in your life, make those, those groups bigger to allow yourself to feel safe, to allow yourself to, to open up. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions today. So not only questions, but also I'm going to say statements. So there's only, there's three. So the first one is, pretend I'm your teen, and I want you to answer automatically. Uh, either say it out loud or write it down. So don't even think about it. Don't even have a thought of, I should have asked this or this way, or somebody's looking. Just say it out loud. I want you to pause the videos in between each statement, allowing you to respond. First one, mom and dad, I'm not going to university. Why do I always have to be the one to, that washes dishes? I know I'm sick, but I actually don't care, and I'm going to that concert anyway, no matter what you say. Okay, so it's very difficult for me to know what your responses are, but I'm just going to... Uh, say responses that I assume maybe one or two were said. So the first one was with the university one. Oh man, don't be ridiculous. Of course you're going to university. Or, you know what, you're really going to disappoint your grandparents if you don't go. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one was about the dishes. Maybe your response was, the reason why you always do the dishes is because you don't do anything else in this house. Or, um, Oh man, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Just do the dishes. And then the third one about being sick. Um, why do you want to be so stupid? You know, you're sick. Of course, you, of course you're not going to the concert. Or, you know, instead of going to the concert, why don't you just put your headphones on and, and put the band, you know, listen to the band's, you know, three songs of the band, band's music, and just, you know, lay in your bed and, and listen to the music. So, again, very difficult for me to know, to know what your responses are. And, but these are automatic responses. And it is natural for us to respond like this because we, do, we don't want to see our children upset. We don't want to see our children unhappy or sad or, or irritated. So what we do is we go into the adult logic brain and... This, this is the automatic response that we have. So my tip for you is this. Next time your teen says something and you automatically want to respond like you did today, I want you to stop and just listen. At the beginning of the video, I asked you about being safe and having a safe space. And... The reason why we feel safe is because we are not judged and because we are not criticized. And this is why, part of the reason why our teens shut down is because they are feeling judged and they are feeling criticized. And it's not because your intentions are bad, it's just because it's our natural way as parents, as adults, to go into adult logic brain. But again, like I said in, in topic number four, in video number four, that part of their brain is not developed yet. So, next time they say something, stop, bite your tongue. Think about a response and just listen. Maybe that's all they need from you is to just listen. So enjoy taking this time to pause and to listen. Ciao for now.